Uh, Jack, not bad, that. Yeah, it's a good night for us. We, um, we Beforehand, we knew we'd have to play well to win the game tonight, regardless of changes that were made, because um, it's still a very good Burnley side that we faced tonight with some really good individual players. And um, I think we had a period in the first half where we had the rider luck, um, got through that, and then gives us a platform to try and win it. And I think second half performance, we deserve to do so. So a good night for us, and we'll both take enormous confidence from it. And in terms of the bigger picture of the squad strength, the fact that it was like your reserve team against the Premier League reserve team, and, and you still won them quite convincingly in there. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't describe mine as a reserve team. I think it would be um, it'd be disrespectful to the players that were involved tonight because they're, they're very much first-team players. And I understand in terms of the number of changes we made. You know, we made eight changes, but um, the vast majority of that team have played and have started league games for us this season and, and have every right to um, believe they should be starting games because they've actually all performed well consistently. The ones that are playing in the league at the moment have done so as well. But um, even beyond that, I think the players should take pride in it. You know, they came to the Premier League team away from home and and achieved a victory and put it on their CV now, growing confidence from it. No doubt it makes my job harder in terms of keep them all happy, but it's a nice problem to have as a manager. And just one more if I may, Will Grigg, how much did he need that tonight? How, how good would it be for him to have got that goal? Yeah, I mean, man, I'm delighted for him because he's, um, he's desperate to be success at the club. It's been a challenging oh, six months from now, seven, eight months. Um, he's continued to train properly and well, and we've continued to have faith in him and confidence in him and his, his performance, he's coming off the bench of late have been good and they've helped us win matches. He missed a really good opportunity on Saturday and I think people then began to doubt him. Not for me, he will score goals for us and tonight um, is an example of that. You know, He led the line well and then when he has an opportunity, you'll back him to score. So I think just more importantly that, just really pleased for him because he'll take, he'll take confidence from it. Do you think that shows, Jack, that the squad is perhaps stronger this season than last season? I'm not, I'm not sure last season if you made eight changes, if it mm. would be as strong a side as that that you've put out tonight. Yeah, I mean, it's a good question because, I mean, maybe people from a distance might not believe so in terms of the changes we've made. We've obviously spoke often enough about the equilibrium we've brought to the changing room and contractually, etc. So we've got that better balance. But um, I think in terms of the attributes we have within the squad, I think there's a greater balance. So tonight we had you know, I think five players maybe under 23 tonight, a young side as well, but we, we, a lot of athleticism in it, and that helps us. It helps us in a night to, like tonight, and it will help us in league games as well. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was noticeable that, especially in the second half, that the number of players you were getting forward, but the fact you were pressing so high up the pitch with, like you say, energy and, and kind of younger players in the side. Yeah, I mean, I said we, we, we learned from last season. We, we feel as if we, we enjoyed a good season last year, but ultimately fell short what we wanted to achieve, and so we then had to identify what maybe we lacked within the squad and, and hopefully we've addressed that. Um, it's only still very early for us, but we feel as if we have those attributes that you mentioned there that give us a, a great athleticism and, and work rate and fitness levels of players have been good. You know, they've been good since, since pre-season at Harvard have worked and I think they showed that again tonight. One player who has had a reaction so far to that is Jack Baldwin. Mm. Who you impressed with him tonight from having to say? I thought he was terrific and he's another one and, and it makes it sound as if everything's all nice and rosy at the club and there's no problems but in truth I do have a very good group to work with and Jack's another example of a player who hasn't had any game time but he's continued to apply himself properly every single day, no qualms about how he trains, in fact he, he's, his attitude and willingness to do extra and work more and more with the coaches individually has, has remained there so I think for him to get back in the team tonight and produce that type of performance is testament to his own standards and, and his own commitment levels as well. Um, yeah, I mean, we hopefully by the end, we certainly will have one in before the end of the window. It's just been um, challenging for us for, for loads of different reasons. Great. Thank there's, you. There's reports in Scotland of a bid for, for Kilmarnock, mm. lad. I mean, is that, are you kind of juggling, you know, there's been re reports of... Maybe yeah, maybe I mean, I would be, I, obviously, I wouldn't want to comment on any particular player because we have, you know, a list that we've identified and... Some were loans, some were permanents, some were frees, some were fees. So it, we've, we've tried and um, you know we are juggling a few balls in the air at the moment. But as I said, over the next couple of days, hopefully we'll find a, a solution to that particular problem. And just last minute, I, I, you know, people like Elliot, you know, young lads, how much will they take from having performed like that at a Premier League ground against the Premier League side in, in terms of you know their development and where they're at in their career? I think for like Elliot and Denver and George Dobson, etc., I think what it shows them is and I know people will find it strange because we've won the game tonight, it shows them how good players are at that level because some really good individual players in the park tonight for Burnley. Um, 
and it shows the, the physicality they have to get to athleticism and then understanding of the game so they did that tonight they've got to do it consistently that's the next challenge for them so it's producing a performance of that out Denver, LA, etc George but then doing that not just every single week in games but obviously every, every single training session as well Thanks, I've been. Um, we have been down here in this area midweek for the last <laughs> three midweeks, so don't take it personally. But I hope nowhere around <laughs> this area. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say closer, but this is probably as close as it gets. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks,